80% of the plastic in our oceans comes from land-based sources. And since the Mississippi River drains uh, an extensive landscape in the United States, it becomes clear how possibly as much as 40% of the plastic pollution that is found in the Gulf originates through the Mississippi River. So we're so excited to be here in New Orleans for World Environment Day North America 2018 because we have a strong partnership with the mayors along the Mississippi River. We felt that because the plastic pollution issue is getting to such a crisis point, it's kind of metatastasized, almost like a cancer, that we thought it was really important to make a global effort to raise attention to this issue. And the best way we could think to do that was to theme World Environment Day. Plastics have proven to require constant attention. And it seems that no matter how many cleanups we coordinate, how many ordinances that we as local officials make sure or put in place, plastics persist and continue to accumulate at alarming rates. And the pledge we made was by 2025 to 10x that number. So we will increase our consumption of ocean-bound plastic by 10 times that amount. Uh, by 2025. So today Life City pledged to make sure that every company that we work with and we had helped them increase their impact and their profits by also reducing plastic pollution. I intend to host additional working groups with my legislative colleagues and include plastics as a topic to educate our communities about both the threat and also the solutions for preventing single-use plastics. to encourage all mayors along the Mississippi River to take action to ban single-use plastics so they stop entering the Great Mississippi and flowing downstream to the ocean. We would like to recommend that the G7 also follow their leadership and enact a plastic straw ban. So we would like the G7 leaders to join us in our efforts and lead in the development of a legally binding global treaty to eliminate plastic pollution by the year 2020.